at that. Oh. I dug one and Buddy dug one. <laughs> <laughs> we got a pair. We can give this one of our wives now. You, man. How about that? We can fix that. Awesome. We got a whole. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Dig both sets of earrings within 20 feet of each other. I just want to up before the sun. After seven rings in about three hours yesterday, I got to try again. We got Gene and Buddy going with us this morning. Going to hit it hard. All right, stay tuned. We'll see if we can't find some more gold. All right, we're hitting the beach again today. After a good day yesterday, I got to do it again. Got some help today. What's up, fellas? Hey, guys. What's up? What's going on? Got Gene and Buddy going to hit up there with us. Uh, I know I didn't cover everything yesterday. There's no way. When you're walking down the beach swinging that thing, you're only covering a small percentage. So it's got to be some more gold down here. Y'all boys ready to find some? I ready. need it. All right, let's do it. Here we go. All right, that makes it all worthwhile right there. Is that beautiful or not? And that, that's much more beautiful than sitting in the chair looking at TV, isn't it? That is much prettier. And I enjoy being out here just out with nature here. Awesome. It's been a nice low tide. It's like two hours for low tide. It looks like it's already out good. So we're going to have a good day today. I can feel it. All right, let's do it. All right, we've only dug a quarter today. But, uh... Got a nice signal right here, 17, 16. Kind of light, but that's a good number. I like it. Right down here on the water's edge where people first get in the water, not knowing that the water's going to prick their finger up, make them lose and stuff. Got here on this thing here, nothing, I don't think. It's still on the ground there. Yep. Kind of covered up a little bit, good. I think it might have went deeper over the way that time. Ah, come on out of there. Well, it could have gone a little deeper because I'm not hearing it. I know it's in there. All right, now I'm just going to take a big scoop at the bottom of it because I don't hear it now. It's going down deeper probably. All right, we should have got that down. Let's check it out. All right, let's see if we got it. <laughs> No, we did not get it. Uh-oh. I check it going all the way back down. I check the hole again, and it's gone. That means it's probably something small. They went really deep. Probably just a piece of, piece of uh, that copper you get down here now. Definitely not getting a hit on it now, so. We may have lost that one. That one may be lost to the ocean. Yep, just lost it. Open. All right, let's keep moving. All right, buddy's got a little smile on his face. What you got, buddy? Oh, man, that is pretty. Is it bling? Yeah, I think it is. Man, it is pretty, that's for sure. Well, a ring already this morning. See if we see any markings on the inside of it here. I got no, I got maybe 70 cents. I don't see any markings on it, buddy. No. It might be bling, but you never know. Get home, get home and test it out. Good job, man. Let's keep hunting. All right, looks like we got our first bling. Maybe bling could be could be silver. I don't know. Let's check it out. There's a low number though, so it's a really low. So if there's anything, it'd be gold, I think. Not real heavy though, but ah, hey, we're finding some bling, a jewelry. That's a good thing. And some more out here. I'm telling you, some more out here today. All right, it's going to be a good day. Let's get going. All right, check old buddy out. He's out there digging a the target in the water. He's got it. That's about as far as we're going to go today right there because as you can see, the waves are still pretty high today. And uh, they will knock you down out there, that's for sure. Come on, buddy. Show me something, buddy. Show me. There's a, there's a big wave building up out there. That's going to be a pretty good size. They're coming in pretty good, but we can still hunt right along this shoreline pretty good. Let's see if we got something here. Uh-oh. He's getting it out. What is it, buddy? Come on. Nah, nothing. All right, if there's something good, we'll come on back to you. Stay tuned. All right, buddy, is calling us over from that thing he was digging. I don't know what it is yet. Oh, earring. Nice. You know what, buddy? I just dug one. I think it might be the other one. <laughs> I'm serious. We might have a pair. Check oh, this out. I can't believe it this. It is. I can't believe this, but look at that. Oh, I dug God. one, and buddy <laughs> dug one. <laughs> we got a pair. We can give this one of our wives now. You, man. How about that? We can fix that. Awesome. We got a whole, that's the first time I've ever seen that happen. Dig both sets of earrings within 20 feet of each other. That's pretty cool right there. 
All right, buddy, let's keep getting it. Which one was yours? <laughs> the non-bent one, right? <laughs> well, mine's been right back into shape. Somebody should definitely wear those now. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, let's keep getting up. All right, just dug this out, and it's definitely a foreign coin. Ten something here. Looks gold, doesn't it? I wish. Could be. Never know. All right, I can't tell what it is yet. We'll check it out when we get home. Yeah, it ain't going to be a gold with ten something on, probably. All right, let's keep getting up. I just saw something short Stacy was saying here. Check it out. The Starburst, I can see that. Probably either a necklace or a um, earring. But it looks like it's got some corrosion on it, which means it's probably junk. Okay, pretty though. I see where it's broke right there. Alright, more bling. Let's put it back. All right, there we go. Alright, I might have a ring right here. Check it out. I see the outer curvature of it. Oh, it was a nice low ring. number. Oh, it's an earring. Really? But it was a nice low tint, so it could be gold. Uh, we'll check it out when we get home. Man, I thought for sure that was a ring. I saw that stick out there. Just knew that was a ring. All right, let's bag it up. We'll keep looking for that gold ring. Buddy, have we got a problem? Got a problem. Uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. Check this out. Buddy's little tab on his broke right there. He's out in the water. Same thing happened to mine. This other one's getting ready to break off right there right now. Leave that on there. Well, well if you want, you got it in the warranty, so you can send it back in. But that is definitely an issue with the uh, coils for the uh, Equinox right there. I've had it happen before. Other people have reported it. It happens all the time. So that's something they need to work on fixing right there. All right, buddy, I got a spare in the truck. Go get it, buddy. Got the backup ready to go. All right, go do it. All right, I've recorded so much junk lately. I've ready to record something good. Probably a quarter, but still. That's better than uh, the next best thing on coins, really. That's when you think of gold coin. I don't know what that little one I dug, but it was pretty. Some foreign coin. I don't think it's gold, but hey, you got that hope anyway, right? All right, we got a quarter in this basket right here, I'll guarantee you. Watch the shuffle. A nice silver ring be nice. Ah, it's a quarter. Well, we'll hang, we'll take that all day long. It's one of the bicentennial quarters right there. I'm not sure what state it is, but... All right, let's keep getting out. All right, we got another earring. It looks like it. I could tell. I thought it was a ring at first, but then I could tell it wasn't a ring. God, we're killing the earrings again today. It's kind of a pretty one. Kind of light, though, but it was ring up as a two. So I'm not sure what that would be. Probably probably some kind of junk metal. New metal they're using that gives you a really low number, like those class rings and all that. Kind of strange, but anyway, I think it's a new build they're using. It's clean, I can tell you that. All right, let's bag it up. All right, we got some more competition down here on the beach from Ohio. What's up? This is Diamond Jim. What's up, Diamond Jim? Put it there, brother. Hey, how you doing, Gig Master? All right. Diamond uh, Jim said he watches the Gig Master. Yeah, I watch him all the time. <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to Bob Neal up in Jackson, Ohio. What's from? Bob? Bob Neal. Bob Neal. All right, man. Say hi. Hello, All right, buddy. Bob. <laughs> All right, we're going to continue to hit the beach here, see what we can find. We might have one gold earring, don't know yet, but we got to check it out when we get back. All right, here we go. All right, by this time yesterday, I think I had five rings. Today, I think I got three or four earrings, but no rings yet. Buddy does have one ring, but I don't think it's gold. But uh, it's amazing what a difference a day can make or just how lucky you are getting your cold over top of the target. I don't know what it is, but uh, man. From one day to the next, it really make a difference. But we got a long way to go. Today we'll stay a little bit longer, so we'll go back to uh, where we started at, and then we'll hit another whole section of beach too. So you never know what we might find there. So stay tuned. We'll hit them up right now. Buddy, you back in operation? Back in operation. Buddy went and got my cool lighted car that I repaired with the super glue and the uh, baking soda trick. You can see it down in there. And uh, he's using it today. He says we'll give it a good test today. See if it holds up. His ears broke off today on his, and now he's going to give mine a good test, see if we can, see if it'll hold up. So far, it's doing okay. okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, buddy. Let's go find some gold. All right, buddy's fighting the waves out here, and he's calling us over. Uh-oh. I tell you, you got to hold on your stuff over here. But he says he might have something here. What you got, man? Oh, ring. Buddy's got a ring. It could be sterling silver. It's an adjustable ring, so they're never, not usually too good, but uh, check it out. Pretty though. 
It's got like a mother pearl on it or something. Good job, buddy. Man, you worked hard for that one. I saw you out here digging like crazy on that hard thing. Fun. That was a tough one, wasn't it? Fun. He got a pile up there on the beach he took up there trying to find it and all. Took a while. All right, man, let's keep getting up. Well, we finally got a ring. But I see the copper coming through. Just a quick story about this ring there. I dug it out, I dropped it on the sand, and the uh, wave came up and it took it away. I ran down and caught it halfway away from the uh, wave for the shoreline there. It was like 10 feet away. These, that thing will take it away in a heartbeat. You gotta really be careful about that. All right, let's keep getting up. Hope we get behind the goal. Got one ring though anyway. All right, let's hope we got us another token. I see a star on there. It says no cash value, but it's got a nice eagle on the back. Check out the eagle on it. I like that. I'm sure it's a token. I cannot read it right now, but I'm sure it is. I think I saw no cash value somewhere. Yeah, right there at the bottom right there. So I know it's some kind of thing. I read that much, but I can't see the rest of it. Or maybe I can if I look really, really hard. Nah, we'll wait till we get home and check it out. Buddy, you ready to try a different beach? Let's go, man. I think we'll have to head down to another beach. We both got one ring, but pretty sure neither one of them are gold or silver. I do have a silver earring, I think. I just had somebody look at it and they say they see 925 on my earring, so I got silver. Good deal. So, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and pack it up. We got a little extra time today to uh, head down to uh, another beach and check it out. Maybe the storm hit that beach and nobody's hit it yet. So, let's go down right now. Stay tuned. All right, we're down to Beast of Waves. It looks like the uh, sand replenishment is continuing down here. We're a ways down and getting ready to get set up. They haven't started down here yet, but it won't be long before this will be full of new sand too. So we got to work it hard as we can until that sand comes in. So let's do it. Here we go. Gene, what you got? Got my first ring. Gene has found his first ring. Check it out. It looks like tungsten carbide to me. Wait to look at it on a microscope when you get home. But he is stainless steel or tungsten carbide, I'd say, one or the other. Cool. Congratulations, man. Put it there. I need to Good go Good job, now. man. You need to go now, buddy. Found the ring. Cool deal, man. Uh, we're still hitting them up here, and uh, we'll try a little bit longer, but not much longer. Might see if Gene gives us a ride to our car, because uh, we got to park way far away. All right. Let's keep hunting them up, Gene. See if we can find some more. All right. We may have another ring in the sand. Check it out. One more ring. It's a junk ring, though. I can tell from the great, uh, the copper cone aside it's gonna be junk but anyway found another ring though any there's two today all right let's keep getting up all right i think we'll call that a wrap um spent twice as much time as i did yesterday seven rings yesterday two today both of them junk so uh and then gene got one it's, it's uh, tungsten carbide i think or either stainless steel and uh buddy got one so we end up with uh four rings between us today but no gold got one silver uh Earring though, I think we'll check everything out at the cleanup. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and pack it up and head back. It's getting hot out here right now. I need to get me a drink. All right, stay tuned. We're heading back right now. Hi right, everybody. What a difference a day makes. Yesterday, seven rings, one gold, one silver. Good stuff. Today, two rings. Both of them are junk. Man, what a difference a day makes. We try to, and I spent twice as much time and hit an extra beach. It still couldn't. Get anywhere close to what we did yesterday. Unbelievable. All right, well, let's check out what we did get. Got a couple interesting things coming up. I'll show you right now. Here we go. All right, first, uh, all the junk stuff. Got a little bit of gray matter. I think that's a cigar pack, I think. One pair of glasses. Glasses really get you, man, because they move around a hole sometime and you can't get them. I was chasing and chasing things and beating them up as I was doing it. Uh, spoon, just some, some junk stuff here. Zippers. Zippers always give me a good reading. I, I, I filmed so much junk it wasn't funny. I, I won't, don't worry, I won't make you watch all of it, but uh, you'll see, well, I might have to show you a little bit of it. These things here give you a good signal, They're like a five or six, but it still gives you a good signal. I uh, got two dog tags. This one's actually got a name on the other side and all, and it's got all rabies and all that stuff on it. Uh, but anyway, I, I don't, those people probably don't need those. They're real old anyway, so. I don't know what we do with them. But anyway, we got pretty good clad. Check it out. Over $4 in clad, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, that's a fingernail right there, I think. It got some little bit of stuff on it right there. Got two foreign coins. Well, one foreign coin and one, what well, I thought, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was like to a um, uh, 
amusement thing, but it's not. It's to a car wash. It's got an eagle with on it. There, it's really cool little coins called uh, something like wash. I, I don't know. It's, you can see it on there. I'll put a picture up there of it. But anyway, I, I guess you use these to get your car washed or something, maybe tokens or something. And then I got this. I, said, I knew it was a different coin. It wasn't matching anything. And I'll put a picture that up there. It's a uh, it's a French coin, ten francs. It's all on eBay for a dollar or something. So I mean, it does have some value. Don't want to throw it away or nothing. So uh, it's kind of cool. Couple, I like getting kind of something different anyway instead of just getting the same old stuff. So that's kind of cool getting these different uh, tokens and coins and stuff. I uh, got one little little thing here. It's definitely not real. Got three earrings here, and uh, I thought for sure one of these might be. But neither one of these turned out to be um, anything. I guess they're probably plated copper or something. But this is 925 written right on it. And it's a uh, sterling silver earring, which is pretty cool. we got sterling silver today. I don't know if you can see that right there. But anyway, it's got Mexico 925. got some other maker marks on it. But that's pretty cool right there. Got some sterling silver today. Um, here's the two rings I got right here. They, it looks nice. But you know, as soon as I picked it up, I could see the copper coming through. I didn't look at it, didn't test it or anything, because I could see it's not. Same thing with this one. A little ring came through. But uh, I did, hey, I want to show you one other thing. This is the gold ring I got yesterday. Golden diamonds. The diamonds do test real. It's got 29 diamonds on it. That is one of the prettiest rings I got this year, actually. The wife loves it. That is nice. I really like that. 29 diamonds. Man, that's pretty nice. I don't know what size that one in the middle is, but it's a little bit bigger than the rest of them anyway. But anyway, it was a nice day out there. Uh, Gene and Buddy went with me today, and Buddy left just a few minutes early. Um, I'll show you some pictures of their stuff right now. Check it out. Here's Buddy's finds right here. Um, he did end up with some, you know, some clad, and he got that one ring. I'll show you his ring right there. And here is Gene's stuff right here. And Gene got his first ring he ever found. He got a, it's a um, tungsten carbide, I believe, and uh, but that's the first ring he's ever found. It's pretty cool. So and he got some clay and stuff too there, as you can see. But anyway, uh, it was a good day. Uh, we got some good treasure size out of it, and uh, might have to let some a uh, little bit of disturbance happen again. A nice storm come through or something to tear it up a little bit. Uh, you saw my video. They're starting to add the sand in the rest of the beach. They're just pumping the sand in like crazy. So. All you're going to get now is the um, uh, fresh drops now, so on most of that stuff. We got that first part, I had no, no sand be added to that, so we do, do get some older stuff in that sometimes. Anyway, I appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, subscribe to the Gig Master. Alright, thanks for coming along.